Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the replay tool in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So to use the, Microsoft, the replay tool, what you need to do is you need to hover over to your toolbar and then click FCR. This will give us the embed. Then what we need to do is we click Instant Replay. So when you do this, what we do is we can then choose different points of the camera and we can actually look at the replay. So the re instant replay now is uh, something that works automatically. So previously the instant replay would have been something that you'd have to enable and that you would have to play yourself. And then when you st want to stop the instant replay, what we need to do is take plane control and then we're back into taking the flight control. So that's kind of the instant replay in a nutshell. So now what we're going to do is take a quick cheapy screenshot like so and then let's get rid of that and let's do our landing what button was the camera button so what we're doing now is we're on approach to Dublin and I just need to do one thing here, sorry, let me do this, Esk options, I want to just turn off the, no that's not what I want, I want to turn off the, the UI, which for some reason I did turn off, but it hasn't turned off anyway, so if you go to advanced options, graphics, assistance, if you go to assistance, and where is, I think it's because I did like restore defaults. So if you go here to assistance, it should be somewhere here. Anyway, other trim, blah blah blah, none of that. Display uh, active waypoint marker, we don't want that, we don't want that, we don't want that, and we don't want that. Disable crash damage, no, okay. That's all fine, I think if you do that, that should get rid of that. Nope, it has not. So go back to settings, flight interface, and we just need to turn it off here as well. So we don't want city markers, we don't want airport markers, we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want this, nor this, nor this, we don't want this, and there you go. I don't turn those off. Let me just make sure that those are turned off. Flight interface. Oh, sorry, they were all off. My bad. So basically, the only thing that was on was uh, it was on in the cockpit. Resume flight. So now we're on approach to Dublin Airport, runway 28 um, left, it should be. And then once we land, we'll take a look at the replay tool. So if we look at the uh, ILS, at the moment we are below the glide path, which basically means we are too low. And there's our runway, you can see the puppy lights. Uh, basically, we have three red uh, and one white, which means we are two low. And actually, we're landing on runway 28 right, which is not correct. Um, I don't know what I set this at default. It should be 28L, 128 all right doesn't actually operate before 7 um, in the morning. Got the flaps. Gavin Goose seats for landing. And then, so this new replay tool is actually quite good because in contrast to before, you don't have to, you don't have to automate, like you don't have to, you know, go through multiple settings. Like the previous replay tool was very clunky. This replay tool is, it's always active, so you can always replay your flight and you can always change the views. So it's quite handy. Now obviously, if you want to save it afterwards, you're going to need to save it. If you want to re-access it, but now we're too high. Now we're above the localizer. Full flaps. And this is my first time actually trying to land the 737 Max, so let's see how it goes. Now 
But yeah, essentially... Uh, I said, yeah, so essentially... Um, what was I saying? So essentially, the new replay tool now is quite good. It's much more user-friendly, and it just works much better in general. Uh, it's just a lot easier to use. So like, it's quite simple, as you saw there. You just need to go to your toolbar. If you don't have your toolbar enabled, then you need to enable your toolbar. You can see there's some Aer Lingus Air there's an Aer Lingus AG20 taxing out. And then, as you can see, we are too low. We're not even going to hit the runway center. Well, we might do flare. Why is the marker in the middle of the runway? That doesn't seem accurate. <laughs> you have arrived on another on time Ryanair flight. So, also, one of the new things in Microsoft Flight 2024 was actually this uh, runway. Actually, I do need to enable one thing I need to enable my uh, prompts for. <laughs> Flight interface. There is not this, not this. It's the one that shows you the dictated hints. So maybe it's in this one here. Assistance. What did it turn off? Did I turn off any of these? I know, you can check the, uh... Why is that? Okay, folks, so that's that. I'm not going to bother taxing the aircraft the full way. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you the replay once this plane decides to stop. So we've stopped the aircraft now, so now what we can do is we can go to our FCR and then we can actually start the replay. So if we go back, now what we can do is we can start watching the replay from anywhere within the flight and what we can actually do also is go, if we go to the sky camera, we can take a look at it from this way or if you want to see different camera views then all we need to do is we need to go to this button here and then we can actually change our camera using our flight button. So there's uh, this button here. So then we can actually rewatch the replay from so, like so. So now, as you can see, we are watching the replay from this way. So we can watch it from the external view. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to show you once we do the external view, I'm going to show you the uh, external view. I hope I just wish it would get rid of that. So actually let me just disable that. Um I don't want to see that pop up for the um uh, air traffic control stuff assistance. It might be in general. Flight interface. This is all off. Like everything's off here. Like they've changed around the settings in this game, which is slightly annoying compared to Flight Center 2024 because we just have to learn them all from scratch. But other other assisted joke. No, 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 no. Display active waypoints, flight path, taxi ribbon. Don't want that. Uh, actually, we do want this one. That's what I was looking for. Disable stress damage, unlimited fuel, turbulence. Uh, okay. And then we do this. Anyway, we can continue watching our replay. Yeah. 
You can see there, there's Dublin's port. Let me look up how to turn that off because that's annoying me. So there's an ATC window. What is this stuff? So what we can do here is... Zoom. You can see the plane landing now. And then, as you can see, now you can watch a replay from all angles. We can see how we butchered this landing. just as you saw and then what we can do is you can go back to this tool and then we can go back and we can click play and what we can do is we can actually close this so we don't need to have it open anymore and then what is all this stuff this now we can actually change our view so if you go to the camera here and we go to showcase uh, we can go to the fixed camera and you can look at it from a completely different view so you can take a look at the landing from this angle and then if we go back we can take a look at it as if we were a passenger so let's go back And actually, what you can do is you can keep it paused. So if you want to set your camera to a different thing so that you can actually do like a visual, we go to the fixed camera and we can play around until we find one that appeals to us. I haven't actually looked through these um, before. So if you look at free camera, it's not there. External two, it's not this one. It's not this one. No, 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 no. No, and no, so it's interesting. So this one doesn't have the, uh, this one doesn't have uh, the window views that I like, which is strange. That's very strange. Free camera, fixed camera. That is actually rather strange, so it doesn't have a window camera for some reason. As you can see, we've walked through them. That's the closest there is to a window camera, which is really strange. Because the aircrafts do have... Oh, this one here. we will do this one. It's not ideal, but um, this is just the one we have. And then what you can do is, once you set the camera you want, you just click play. And then this is what it would look like if you were landing. In like as if you were landing uh, in like as a passenger. Now I got a new graphics card and have this on ultra. I don't know why the, the thing is looking so terrible. I need to tweak the settings here as well.
It might be because we're using the FSL TL tool. Um, now, I think the only issue is with the replay, unfortunately, it doesn't necessarily always register that you are, um, what's the word? Um, I think with the F like, if you're doing replay and you're using the FSL TL tool, or even like the live traffic, it kind of continues rendering stuff in. It doesn't actually count for the fact that you've stopped the simulation. So that's just a slight glitch. So anyway, that's that. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our external and we're going to just finish the replay now. So if we go to FCR, uh, what we can do is once we're finished, we can scroll to wherever and we can stop this and then we can take plane, uh, we can take plane control. If you want to save this, all you have to do is you click save and then that will be saved and you can access this uh, in the future when you're no longer playing the game. And then if you go here, you can actually see that uh, once you've saved it, you can go to load replay and it will show up here. Now, obviously we haven't saved it, but yeah, that's how you can access stuff. If you go back, uh, what you can see here is a few other options. We can actually configure this. So here you can set like your kind of camera settings. And then if you want to do this as AI, you just click this. And then ghost is, I'm not even sure what this is, but that's that. So you can, a ghost plane, I think, essentially is a plane that will load up in front. So this is kind of if you want to, I guess it's kind of if you want to do kind of like fly by shots, that kind of stuff. And then you can obviously, what you can do is you can change this distance, as you can see here. So then if we take a look in the cockpit, we have a plane in front of us if we're doing a replay. So if you kind of want to do just a little cinematic stuff, you have that. So it's a lot more uh, detailed and comprehensive, the replay tool, than it was before. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like if you did, make sure to subscribe for more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and real life flight content, and if you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, bye for now.